from Kenner's Deli, here is Peter Tilden. We're back. We're back. A little applause, something, maybe, something, okay. Let's, uh, yay! Sorry. Yeah, Council of Designs here, you can hear it. Say it, talk right, say it. Go ahead. This is 790 KABC, covering the globe. <laughs> now, let's talk to Diane. Punch up Diane. Diane, how are you doing? Hey. How are you? Good. Who is this, Ned? Introduce her. Hey, Diane, this is Ned. How are you? Hi, Ned. I'm great. Good. Diane and uh, Tim Lane uh, live in Los Angeles. I met them many years ago in San Francisco. Um, actress, actor, and uh, parents of two great kids. And she does, uh, she runs a program called uh, Get Lit Words Ignite. And what it does is it, I should have, let's you, Diane, explain all the great things it does and the kids that, that you guys impact in, in and around the city of Los Angeles. Thank you, Ned. We met. We met Ned when he was assistant <laughs> general manager of the Giants <laughs> many years ago. So now, of course, we're all in Los Angeles and have converted to Dodger fans. But I wanted to share a little story about Ned at one of our fundraisers. We work with a lot of kids and we introduce them to poetry and get kids in Los Angeles reading and writing and doing a lot of great things, going to college. And Ned has helped us raise a lot of money. Um, forget lit, but at our first fundraiser, Ned, would you mind if I add a little? Yeah, I add to the Ray Liotta, Katie Couric story, sure. Yeah, to your list of um, celebrity insults. <laughs> we were at one of our big fundraisers, and Sharon Stone was there, and Ned said, "Oh, you know, I know Sharon Stone." And his whole table said, "Ned, you don't know anybody." And Ned said, "I know Sharon Stone. Please introduce me to uh, Sharon Stone." So we said, "Sure, okay, come on over." So we said, Sharon, this is our good friend, Ned Coletti, and we really wanted to meet you. And she said, yes, Ned, we've met. Oh, great. I've never know. met Sharon Stone at all. <laughs> a couple of times. Because we got a wrap, we have limited time. Talk, so talk yeah. about what you do. Explain Get Lit oh. to us. So we introduce teens from all over Los Angeles County. We work with over 20,000 teens a year, a lot of underserved communities, and we introduce them to poetry, which gets them reading and writing and increases literacy um, rates and gets them going to college. And we do a lot of teacher training, and we've been fortunate to work with Ned and, and literally get to work with an additional, I don't know, 20, 30,000 kids a year. It's, uh, it's an amazing program that they start up on their own. And uh, they, you read poetry? They, I actually have read three years in a row. I read one poem, and then I auction off uh, some Dodger stuff that the Dodgers have sold. So how do you read it? Do it? How do you read it? I read it very, very dramatically. <laughs> very dramatically. I, uh, you read it, Casey and the Bat? Casey at the, the, the Bat was the first one. Casey's at and, the Bat. I don't know Casey why he's the there. Bat. Do you add to it? or The Mudville Night. No, I don't. I haven't added to it yet, but maybe next year I'm going to write my own. Oh, boy. I've got oh. more material than I've ever had. Oh. Casey was a second baseman. Yeah, the, yeah. Who's playing second base? Isn't it, for real, Casey. <laughs> Casey's at the bat. Well, Diane, thank, Diane you. thank you. Thank you for calling in, no, Diane. Can I just say something? She sounds lovely, and the organization sounds great. But that's not the actress, Diane Lane. Because I, no, I have another I was starting story. to Let touch me tell myself. You very quick. Can I tell in anticipation of the Diane Lane. Okay, real quick. I'm going to go. One so, minute, right. minute. I'm at a, at a uh, grocery store in uh, San Mateo, California, oh and I see this this uh, Us magazine, and it has Diane Lane's picture. Sure. On it. The Diane Lane you're speaking of. Yes. And I thought, oh my God, she's on the cover of this magazine. So I buy the magazine and I call her. I said, how about you being on Us magazine? She goes, that's not me. That's he's done it again, Diane. ladies and yes. gentlemen. So anyway, yes. Thank God I know who the well, second baseman me, is, but I'm me, not telling you. Get me a picture of this Diane Lane. I'll touch myself. <laughs> it's all right. Why? This was a family. It's a nine o'clock hour. Said you can't say touch yourself till the ten o'clock. I can't hour. say touch until ten o'clock. I'm 10 o'clock. so sorry. And by the way, now you're not going to now you're not going to get to do your poop story at all. Oh, okay. No. Here's what we're going to do. My loss. We're going to take a break. <laughs> we break. We come back. We're going to do the news. We come back. There's a bunch of calls for Jason Alexander. There's a oh, call sure. for Dr. Kipper. I want to talk about the movie industry because we haven't done it with Tom Shark. I want to talk with uh, Kevin about about the music business too, about being on the road because they just came back off doing what 97 97 gigs with REO. So uh, amazing people here. The Cantors. If you got the time, come on out. It's nine fifty nine. Seven ninety eight. Council Design is here. We'll talk to him about politics and more when we return. Live from Cantor's Delicatessen. Peter, come live at nine with the power set. Continue.